Merry Christmas! <laughs> uh, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, hey there. <laughs> uh, hi. Uh, so, uh, it's me again, for the first time. Not that you care, because, like, who the fuck am I? So, anyway, uh, back home, Christmas, you know, Christmas Eve, currently, at the time of shooting this video. Uh, and, yeah, just jamming along in my PJs, like pajamas, PJs, whatever. Because uh, it's probably the uh, most heavy metal outfit you could probably get this time of the year. So, uh, you know, disregard this whole thing or enjoy. Um, yeah. Uh, so, uh, by the way, this was supposed to be a live video. But since YouTube sucks ass... Um, apparently, I'm not allowed to make any, uh, live videos, so I just have to struggle, like this, offline, uh, trying to pretend speaking to an audience, which sucks, but then again, not that, you know, I'd have any real audience, so, uh, ah, hell, who cares, uh, yeah, so, um, thing is, thing is, oh yeah, uh, I wanted to show you guys uh, a cool thing that I, uh, you know, I always uh, like to tell, you know, people about, especially, you know, beginners, you know, because I'm super awesome at this point. Um, <clears throat> I always uh, give them this, uh, this advice, you know, when, you know, when they go for, uh, jamming, you know, with friends occasionally and snorking things and, you know, boning people. Um yeah, so they uh they want to do this like whole, you know, crazy cool thing and jam along and have a good time and, you know, be bitching, you know, heavy metal dudes and they have no fucking idea where to start off, and, you know, the guitarists have most of the problems, because they just, like, uh, have the uh, biggest burden on their shoulders, and, and they really need to come up with, like, some cool things, unlike the drummer or the bass player. <clears throat> uh, yeah, and oftentimes... They uh, they lack the ideas of how to come up with something for, you know, practice, like a backing track or whatever. So this is my idea. Whether you're a chord guy or interval guy, well, you can't be an interval guy because that's sophisticated. And in that case, you, you just have no business watching this video. But anyway, uh, no matter how you approach this thing with glittering stars on it... Um, Call the uh, fretboard, um, whether it's you know numbers, dots, uh, chords, whatever. Just pick a very simple progression. Uh, off the top of my head, I can think of I don't know. Let's see, C D E, which is three five seven. You know, dots wise, on the A string, and yeah, basically just uh, pick it up and shuffle it and pick a very simple strumming pattern uh something like you know very cheesy uh campfire type type of strumming like you know just and start moving start going places you know what i'm saying so uh just do something like Then, raise the bar a little. Just crank up the, you know, old school 80s sound. Because that's what I like. And just give it some flavor. You know, some nice in-between chorus delay of the goodies. That hide away the mistakes and make you sound great. Although you're not. And, you know, you'll basically end up with something like this. Then, pr 
proceed. Make it even, you know, cooler. You can't actually go, you know, classic old school heavy metal uh, with your right hand. Uh, you know, James Hetfield style, all down picking, all down strokes. You get the point. Uh, so you can spice it up a bit like this. <laughs> Like Zone Scoop, right? So, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's um, starts sounding like something. I don't know. I'd say Bon Jovi, and probably 200 bands more. So, ah, hell, who cares? So, up till now, you just use power chords. Now, start, you know, messing with the uh. The power chords, the power chord shape, start adding and taking away things like, you know, one uh, one note here and there. I won't bore you with, uh, you know, with the details, but um, in our case, you'd go from, you know, on the uh, on the B string, you'd go from a major third to perfect fourth. And you'd end up with something like... Having your guitar in tune and not being fucked up like I am right now really does pay off. So, uh, yeah, just make sure you're not playing it like this and you're actually doing the uh, version that this was supposed to be and you'll be safe. Now, um, where can you go from here? Well, another cool idea if this whole thing is so happy for you. You can go back to the old power chord and just start, you know, adding one extra uh, step within your progression. And you can add it and make it sound a bit, you know, minor-ish, evil. So what you would do would be, you know, going from, you know, you can actually go to B, uh, so now instead of having C D E, now you have B C D E. Uh, and you can have something that sounds like Yeah, I just sneaked in uh the A. Also, so, uh, yeah, that's one type of thing that you can do. Another one is playing nine, uh, nine chords, you know, with the ninth added. Or you can think of it as the second, as an extension to your octave. So you just have something like this, and you just have... <laughs> You get the idea, right? So, uh, yeah. Uh, so, basically, uh, once you start figuring out where you want to go and you establish your pattern, what I'm trying to say is start fucking with it. And, you know, may the best, uh, bleh, bleh, bleh. May the best version win. Uh, so, yeah. Let's see what other shit I can come up with and bore you. This time around. Right? So, uh, 
Let me know what you think and just how much it sucked. Uh, see you in the uh, next installment if I'm not dying in the meantime. So, yeah. See ya.